Hi, this is Pat, and in this tutorial we're going to take a look at the new WYSIWYG editor that is an option on your digital face site. Uh, to do that, we're going to add a photo and do a little editing of our home page. Uh, so, first off, let's uh, talk about how to change the setting of your uh, editor, and you'll want to go to your hub and click on Organization, uh, Settings, and Design and then on the Features tab, and uh, you want to select the uh, 417 uh, editor. Uh, I'm going to click Update to make that editor active, and then go back to my home page where I'm going to take a look at it. So you'll see there's a slight visual difference uh, in the way that the editor looks, but the tabs are uh, and the tools are largely the same. Um, I would just point out a few things uh, that under the Format tab um, we have different styles we can select, um, uh, text formatting, um, blocks, and alignment. And you'll notice that on the right-hand side some of those tools are tucked up uh, there to make the toolbar uh, more manageable for smaller areas. Um, the Insert Video link embedding, uh, as you might expect, the image link. Now this is where we see a pretty big difference. Uh, you'll notice that there's no um, option here for pixels, and that's because we're now working with fully responsive websites. And just to remind you, a responsive website is one where the content adjusts and uh, based on the screen resolution. And because of that, we want to work with images as a percent of their contained area. Um, we're going to talk a little bit more about that in a moment. Links, very similar uh, interface, just a little cleaner, bold, and font. Now, uh, this tool, the Show Blocks tool, uh, this is a very helpful tool to get a look at what's happening with the text below. Here we see that this text is in an H1. It may be difficult for you to see on your screen, but uh, you can try that yourself. And you can turn and turn on and turn that off. And the HTML tool uh, doesn't have the little HTML icon. It now has a little source icon. And uh, that's how you can get to your source. But uh, one of the really cool new updates is the ability to work with images. So if we take a look here and uh, let's say we want to add the picture of our picnic into our page, all we have to do is just drag and drop that photo in and then we can simply select this tool and determine uh, what width we want that image to be. So we can try out a few different widths and uh, see what we like. Uh, we can continue to uh, drag and drop that image um, around our site as we would like and now we use the alignment tool uh, to produce the um, uh, text rotation. So let's just drop that uh, right here and let's go back and uh, we'll make that uh, two-thirds If we wanted to, we could take that to the bottom. And I think one of the nice uh, uh, ways to display these images is in full width mode. Um, let's go ahead and update our page and take a look at how that looks. And there we have uh, placed our image just by dragging and dropping. And again, um, using responsive layout, we see that that image is automatically scaling and um, not going off of the page or interfering with mobile layouts. Um, so that's a quick overview of uh, our new editor, and I hope you'll give it a try. Thanks.